All right, welcome to the sweeping channel. I bring you sweeping every day. <clears throat> this is double sweeping. This is uh, double sweeping, so two men sweeping at once. Double your pleasure, double your fun on the sweeping channel. All right, there's Hoshoru waiting ringside for his match. It's not this one, uh, but it's coming up soon. Um, no, it is this one, sorry. <laughs> uh, Kirishima is the one who's waiting for one more match. Hoshoru is about to take to the dohyo and fight Takanosho. Just got home as the Daisho versus Ryudin match was happening, so couldn't get that on the channel. Unfortunately, the uh, Kotonowaka match was uh, five matches before the end, so uh, no chance of me getting that on the channel coming home from work. But, spoilers, uh, Kotonowaka did win today. He beat Ono Sho. The Maigashiro 14 is now 8 and 4, and pretty much out of the hunt for the cup. Uh, Kotonowaka maintains his one loss record, his uh, hold at the top of the leaderboard, sole leader, with an 11 and 1 record after 12 days. This is day 12, Thursday, and it's about 5 34 p.m., and we only have three matches to get through in 26 minutes. So my guess is they're going to be long uh, intros like this one. I clicked the button thinking, oh, they're about to go to the graphic and get going, and uh, nothing. <laughs> so I apologize, but I'm not going to restart here. Uh, I will just give you some information. Uh, so this is Hoshoru Takanosho. The Maigashira 12 is fighting in Ozeki because he's currently at 8-3. and three. Having a good tournament. Of course, Hoshoru is in the two-loss group, 9-2. and two. Then we'll have Kirishima fight Tamawashi. There is our current combatants. And then Terunofuji takes on Ono Sato, who's also 8-3 and three right now. Uh, in the final match of the day, the rookie getting a chance to face off against Yokozuna in his very first debut tournament. Okay, now tomorrow, day 13, Friday the 13th day of sumo, not Friday the 13th of the month, uh, some powerhouse matches, and of course, I will have both of them for you after I get home from work tomorrow. Uh, we'll have our Ozeki Clash tomorrow on Friday, Kirishima versus Hoshoru, so if they both win today, one of them will be knocked out of the two-loss leader group tomorrow for sure because they're facing off against each other. And Terano Fuji has Kotonowaka in the final match of the day. So, 11-1 Kotonowaka, if he's going to win the U show, has got to prove his medal against the Yokozuna tomorrow in the Musubi no Ichiban. So, huge matches there. Daesho, Sekewake, uh, is 7-5 right now, so he's going for Kachikoshi tomorrow uh, against Nishikigi. Uh, and then you have some more. Oh, the other big news tomorrow on day 13 is Asanoyama is coming back. So a lot of you that have Asanoyama in the contest, uh, I was hoping that <laughs> that wouldn't happen because I figured it would narrow down the winners quite a bit. But he's coming back. Now, that doesn't mean he's going to get any more wins, but he is going to try to get that Kachikoshi that he needs. So he'll have three days to get one win and get his eighth win. He's currently seven and five, basically, uh, because of absences and losses. So he needs one more. We'll see if he can get it. Uh, I won't have his match tomorrow. Tomorrow he fights Gonoyama, but I'll have his match on Saturday and Sunday for you guys. Uh, okay, so the three people, one off the pace, are Teruno Fuji, Hoshoto, and Kirishima, and we will at least have all three of their matches on the channel today for day 12. There's Ono Sato and Terano Fuji entering the arena. <clears throat> and I'll give you some updates on who lost and won earlier in the day, uh, probably in the next video, as we get ready for Hoshoru to take on Takanosho here. <laughs> Takanosho is another one of these guys, you know, just had some bad luck, finds himself down at the bottom of the Bonsuke at Maigashira 12. Well, not the bottom, but, you know, toward the bottom. And uh, But he's been as high as Sekewake in his career, Takanosho. 
So he's no stranger to fighting uh, high-ranked opponents, fighting guys like Hoshoru. And uh, he could give the Ozeki quite a match here, uh, as they're, they're not focused on it at all. Here we go. Uh, um, they're going to throw salt one more time, though. Uh, so Takanosho is in the red. He's on your left. And Hoshoru, of course, in the blue on your right. Uh, so, yeah, it's pretty much for Hoshoru. You know, he he would love to win the championship. So to do that, he's got to keep winning. The more crucial win is Kirishima in the next match. He's got to keep winning if he wants a chance at that Yokozuna promotion. So his match against Tamawashi, very important. And then even more so tomorrow when he fights Hoshoryu, he's got to beat the uh, his fellow Ozeki uh, if he's going to claim uh, Yokozuna status. Um, so we'll see. Okay, anybody else significant while I'm looking? Atami Fuji lost today. Wakamoto Haru lost today. Uh, let's see. How did... Oh, Tomokaze got a win. Yay. Um, Oho went to 7-5, and five, so he's one away from... Oh, and Shimazumi, the other rookie, uh, got his Kachikoshi today. Went to 8-4 and four at Maigashira 17. So congrats to him. He'll be staying in the top division. All right, turn on some commentary. Enjoy this one. Okay, maybe not. So six minutes in now. So this is what I'm talking about. I think they really stretch out the time uh, because, you know, they want to finish close to six o'clock. Uh, they let these guys really kind of uh, you know, take their time getting ready here uh, in these next few matches. And like I said, they have to work in that extra time in case there's long matches, in case there's judges' conferences, uh, you know, close call decisions to be made, things like that. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's odd that I get home just before 5.30 and I can only get three, three matches up on the channel. Usually I should be able to get like four or five, but not lately. Okay, here we go. I feel like Hoshoru's won by Shtatenage like seven times this tournament or something. I mean, you would think his opponents would be a little bit more prepared for that move because I feel like he's used that arm throw uh, quite a bit this tournament, but uh, it wins for him again here on day 12. So I guess if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And uh, Takanosho... Uh, has no defense, it seems, against it when it comes here in a moment. Here it goes. And he's, uh, you know, pivots, works the hips, and uh, executes a really nice throw. All right, so he's the first of our two lost guys to maintain. So now 10 and 2. And uh, he's just going to sit ringside for a minute, see how Kirishima does, and then watch from backstage to see how Terunofuji does. And, uh, you know, we'll just have to see if he has a chance at uh, Colton Owaka to give him a loss. I think he should. Uh, he should fight him either on Saturday or Sunday. Uh, but uh, we shall see. All right, come on back. So we know tomorrow, Kirishima for Hoshoru. Big matchup. See you in a minute.